Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy CDROM 1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island Trial and Execution of Guybrush Threepwood. All right, so we've knocked out four of the charges, and then a fifth criminal charge was uh, miraculously found. Elaine's here, but we kind of need to get her to court to testify, but she's kind of too busy having a bit of a cat fight with uh, Morgan LaFlay, who kind of likes to stir the pot a little bit. I don't really blame her. Uh, but let's uh, figure out what we can do. Hey, uh, WP, what's this? Can you make one of these Bat Island fuzzy nostrils? Aye, aye, Captain! And while you're making that, I'll just... Order up! One Fat Island fuzzy nostril! Heavy on the fuzz. That was absurdly fast. Arr! Libations! Ah, Jimmy! What? Oh, okay, so that just got him back over here, huh? Okay, this is really flattering, but let's calm down and talk this out like adults. I'll be calm when the flay has been filleted like a fish. Uh, yeah, no new uh, information yeah. here. Okay, well. So, oh, sack of sugar? Just what I always wanted. An ant infested sack of sugar. Don't know what I would use that for, but okay. Uh, where's Krebs? Oh. Hey, Krebs. What do you want? I see you aren't fighting. Uh, what you gonna do with all that gold? Well, Bye. whoops. No, 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 no. Hey, Krebs. What do you want? It's nice to see one female pirate in this bar isn't a fight crazed wackadoodle. Oh, I am. I'm just loading up on carbs before joining the fight. Doesn't pay to have a sugar drop in the middle of one of these things, you know. Hmm. What you gonna do with all that gold? All what gold? All that gold inside your chest. <laughs> Stay away from Guybrush, you sea hog! I just did that because I felt like it. I know that doesn't really help me in the grand scheme of things. So, all this water came out over here. What does this mean? Ew. What was that? What the freak? Another. Hey, what's this piece of paper stuck? It's a recipe for a drink called the Tri Island Tuna Colada. Looks complicated. Ew. Suppose I should give that to Krebs, though. Okay, this is really flattering, but no, not you. Yeah. Can you make one of these? A tri island tuna colada. Arr. That takes me back. I haven't made one of these since I was a bosun under Captain Bo. But can you make one? I'm really in the mood. Aye, but it'll take some doing to scrounge up the ingredients. Take your time. Hmm. Occupied. Sorry. So, he's preoccupied with something. Hemlock can tell me more about this legendary jungle beast. Like why I've never run into it before. Can't just pick out the darts. Not sure what I should be doing here. I'd better not distract him while he's making my tuna colada. He could slip up and add too much colada to my tuna. Mm. What if I just try to leave? leaving until I serve a lane with this summons. Oh, okay. I guess I'm stuck here, so... Hmm. I got a sack of sugar that I don't know what to do with. Hmm, no. Right. Alright. I suppose I could talk to them. Try to get them to go back. Bear. Morgan's all bark and no bite. You want bite? 
Ugh, you got it! And I'll throw in the bark for free! Whoa! Hmm. Can't you two just work it out over a nice grogatini? V, Guybrush Threepwood is buying me a drink? Over your dead body, Trollop! Who are you calling Trollop, Schooner Mom? Oh, boy. Hmm. Yeah! So talking to them's not gonna get me anything. Um... Nope. Can't do anything with that. C12H22011, just like Mama Threepwood used to make. Hmm. The only way to drag Elaine into court is to get this voodoo summons into her hands. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How am I supposed to distract you now? Especially with WP sufficiently distracted. That's just not fair. And I can't leave, so... I'm not leaving until I serve Elaine with this summons. Hmm. Gotta think this out. I can't talk to them. The bathroom's occupied. Occupied! Sorry. Ooh. Yeah, figures. There's nothing left of this buffet but a few scraps of tofana tea paste and a light ranch dressing. Stool, stool, stool. The judge mixes a mean drink, but he's a horrible shot. Hey, wait a minute. There's another coupon over here. I just saw it. Recipe for a scab island sling. Seems pretty simple. Probably should have given him that one. I'd better not distract him while he's making my tuna colada. He could slip up and add too much colada to my tuna. Yeah, that's. Sounds like he's gonna be at that for a while. Hmm. What am I not considering? Duh. <laughs> This must be the screaming narwhal that my ship is named after. Creepy. Now that I've spent some time inside these docile Don Juans of the Deep, I feel kind of queasy about seeing their heads mounted on a wall. Gotta be something else in here I can interact with. Nah. Whoops. That's not how you play. Sorry, hit the wrong button. Fate table, skull candle, the exit. Uh uh. Yeah, figures. Candles, nothing up here. Hey, darling. Would you mind taking this? Only if you don't mind taking this! Yeah. Okay, I think I'm kind of in between a rock and a hard place here. Let's see. See if I can figure out what I'm not considering here. Uh, universal hint system, don't fail me now. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Right. So, okay, so... I'm not gonna be able to get anything done over here, am I? Um... First of all... So... It looks like I need to get them trapped on this dartboard, which should have been a hint. Um... I'll just put this here for safekeeping. Done! One try oh. island tuna colada. Now I can get back to me darts. Arr, really? You wouldn't let me move until that? Ah, gimme.
I know you're back out. Mm-hmm. Um... Hey, lady. What? Elaine, you should know that Morgan and I spent a few nights together inside of a manatee. Inside of a what? Uh, um... You're a dog, guy brush Streetwood! Oh, wait, that, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Um... Elaine, Tuckle Bear, Morgan's all bark and no bite. You want bite? Uh, you got it! And I'll throw in the bark for free! Yeah. Oh. Huh? There we go. Good for nothing words getting in the way of my killing. Honey, you are formally summoned to appear before the court of Judge Grindstump in the case of the people of Flotsam versus Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. TM. You. Now I know who wears the daddy pants in the relationship. You stay away from my boy's pants, or I'll hang you from my Jolly Roger, you Jezebel! <laughs> and you, don't think you can totter around with some tart and not get a fistful of what? She's a catch. <laughs> and conveniently not a rotten double-crosser. I told you I had a job. Oh, come on, Guybrush. Just doing your job. Tell me. Aside from all the silver, how are the benefits? Guybrush. Do you get health care for the repetitive stress injuries caused by all the backstabbing? All right, Guybrush. Hands? I said I was sorry. Sorry? I can't pick my left nostril without risking a lobotomy. What if I... What if nothing? Goodbye, Morgan. I've got a wife to cure in an island to save. Okay, Guybrush. That was laying it this on a bit thick. Like, that was way too thick, dude. Like... Yeah, she... I, I get it, but that's... Now you're just being a jerk. Alright, well, we're here. Shame, I kind of wanted to see the bartender make some of those other drinks. Um... Please, tell the court how this horrible pox is all LeChuck's fault. LeChuck? That stick in the mud wouldn't know a good pox if it kicked him in the fundament. Heck, there wouldn't even be a pox if you'd gone through with the voodoo lady's recipe properly, but no, you had to wave that root beer bottle around like some sort of conquering hero. Oh, look at me! I be Guy Brush Threepwood, mighty pirate! Next thing I know, you tried to replace root beer with root grog and bam, pox all over the place. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Okay. That didn't work. Um. Honey, why don't you please tell everyone how I've been trying to find a cure for the pox? Don't you honey me, you two-timing cannon scrubber. I bet all this talk of looking for La Esponja Grande was all plot to spend time canoodling with your little privateering she-slag. La Esponja Grande, yes, it's right over there, see? Sure it is. Um... Could you give the court some idea of what a fine, upstanding pirate your husband is? Well, let's see. When I first met him, he was breaking into my mansion to steal a statue. Later, after shanghaiing a crew to take him to Monkey Island, he totally failed to rescue me from the evil clutches of the ghost pirate LeChuck, so I had to dress up a couple of monkeys in a bridal gown. This may That's have been a bad true. line of questioning. Then he left me hanging over a pit while he went looking for the treasure of Big Whoop. I didn't hear from him for three years after that. Also true. He me into a bleeding statue. Uh, also true. Left the seat up. Oh, and that's not even mentioning all the times I found myself tied up, manacled, or otherwise incarcerated because of his blithering idiocy! You're too good for him, love. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Um, I'd like to second, please. I'd like a second to think about my next move, Your Honor. Make it fast! Your character witness is oozing all over my courtroom! Um, can I please take this sponge? Alright, here Honor, we go. Buccaneers of Flotsam, you all believe that I, Guybrush Threepwood, <clears throat> the pirate, have brought this horrible pox to your shores. Off with it, Run him off the it plank! To the jungle beast! What if I were to tell you that I could tame this unruly witness, prove my good intentions, and begin the process of curing you all of this hideous voodoo pox all in one fell swoop? Hmm, this is I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. To the jungle beast! 
Your Honor, I object. Defense is grasping at sponge-shaped straws here. Denied! But get on with it, Captain. The hangman gets overtime if we keep him up after midnight. With pleasure, Your Honor. Wenches and pirates, I give you Exhibit S, the wonder of La Esponja Grande. I thought it'd be bigger. Now behold, as a simple exfoliating motion of La Esponja Grande washes away the pox, restoring my wife to her usual mostly pleasant demeanor. Uh, Guybrush. Sugar cakes? Off with his head! Get that piece of seaweed off me, you deep sea doily diver! Does the defense have any other pointless arguments it would like to make? Uh, this is sort of all I got. Then, by the power vested in me by the put-upon pirates of Flotsam Island, I summarily sentence you to be hanged by your pox-spreading neck until you oh, are right there. What? Oh, Lechuk. Oh. What is the meaning of this? <clears throat> My name is Lechuk, and I can tell you exactly what Guybrush did. Lechuk? I thought he was a ghost. I heard he was a zombie. Uh, don't listen to him. You see, Your Honor, the pox is all my fault. Listen to him. For decades, I dabbled in the dark forces of voodoo, clamoring for power. I hungered for it. I yearned for it. I pillaged, plundered, and killed for it. I can attest to all of this. And it was my accumulated voodoo that infected you all. Dark, evil voodoo that was explosively released when I was once again defeated by the perpetually heroic Guybrush Threepwood. He's not kidding. I've killed him like five times. So you see, Guybrush Threepwood is not the source of this pox. I am. And I hereby throw myself upon the mercy of this court, or lack thereof. Off with your head! But wait, there's more. It turns out I had an unknown silent power urging me down those darkened voodoo corridors. A power far more insidious than I could ever hope to be. I submit to the court this journal, property of the Fire <laughs> Affair! The Voodoo Lady! <coughs> what? That creepy lady who lives in the shack? What the what? In these pages, you will find detailed plans laid out by the voodoo lady over the course of many years to manipulate my never-ending rise to power. My hunger for voodoo, my seemingly endless cycle of ironically comical death and disturbing resurrection, my obsession with the darling Elaine. It's all because of her. Off with her head! Lead to the jungle beast! Can't be true. Get it? Order! Order! I hereby call for the release of Guybrush Threeport and the immediate imprisonment of LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady. To the brig with both of them! Oh, I bet it's up to me I catch all this land loving lolly gagging. I'm a plunder me some treasure. <laughs> Don't worry about me, my friend. Go cure your wife. Well, all right. Okay. okay. Thanks, LeChuck. <coughs> well, big uh, bro moment for LeChuck. Well, I'm finally free, but now my pox-crazed wife is nowhere to be found. A mad scientist is hunting her for who knows what reason, and the legendary voodoo sponge that was supposed to cure her has turned out to be useless. Under normal circumstances, I'd ask the voodoo lady for help. But she's sitting in the jail cell next to my arch enemy, who may or may not be my best friend, after it's been revealed that she has been the secret power behind most of my travails over most of my life as a pirate. Maybe I should have been a beekeeper like my Uncle Sid. Okay. So, I need some lore and exposition here. Well, Chuck! Hey, bro. I would have bet my good hand I'd never say this, but thank you. For what? i caused you nothing but despair. For taking the fall back there, and for exposing the voodoo lady. I don't know what to make of any of it, but now I can focus on saving Elaine and dealing with the pox. It is the very least I could do. But be careful, Guy Rush. I'm always careful. This from the guy who proposed to his wife with the cursed engagement ring you stole from my hold. Is that a dig? Is the evil demon pirate LeChuck developing a sense of humor? This is weird. Mm -mm. That is true. Really, thanks again. You don't need to thank me, my friend. I merely spoke the truth. 
They say that truth is the greatest barnacle scrubber, you know. Um, where have you been? Where have you been? I thought you were with Elaine. Well, after leaving Spinner K, Elaine and I set out to finish releasing all those monkeys I'd captured. After we were finished releasing the last of them, Elaine caught wind of your trial, went into a pot <coughs> of rage, seized a passing clam schooner, and made a beeline for Flotsam Island. That's my girl. Needless to say, I took my own vessel and headed after her. But in the middle of the night, my ship was sunk by a rogue wave. I was washed up on an island of cannibals, from whom I deftly escaped using many of the self-same skills you taught me back on the Jerkbait Islands. You know, it's amazing how easily man-eating tribes can be reasonable. Knowing I needed to get here more than ever, I lashed together a few bits of cannibal leftovers and warthog sinew to build a makeshift raft. Unfortunately, that was soon eaten by the sharks. Oh no! So I swam. I swam as fast as I could for three days. And arrived just in time to save me from the gallows. Nicely done, buddy. Really Sam f swam for three days? Swim instructor. I was fueled by the fire of our budding friendship. Uh, have you seen Elaine? Have you seen Elaine? No, not since she left me in a poxed rage. He's been doing a lot of that lately. Mm. So you haven't seen Elaine then? I'm afraid not. She's quite a handful. You're telling me. All those thwarted attempts to marry her might have been blessings in disguise, huh? Uh, about the voodoo lady. I can't believe the voodoo lady has been pulling your ghostly slash demonic strings all these years. It came as a shock to me as well. But her diary spells it all out. You, me, Elaine, we're all part of the voodoo lady's malevolent plans. Malevolence is in the eye of the beholder, Guybrush Treepwood. I know this is difficult to understand, but things are not as they seem. No, things seem remarkably convoluted, which is what I've come to expect from you. I've always had your best interests at heart. Well, what about my interests? Without your meddling, I could have lived a normal, happy pirate's life. Ha! The destiny of LeChuck has never been normal. Okay, I'll get to you in a second. I risked life, limb, and manatee to get La Esponja Grande, and it's a puny, worthless lump. What? Soak up the gargantuan wonder that is La Esponja Grande. That is La Esponja Grande? But wasn't it supposed to hold infinite amounts of voodoo? I know. What a crock. The size of the sponge is meaningless. It is what you do with it that matters. Oh, yeah? yeah? Well, well, you, you fight, fight like, like a... a uh. <laughs> Funny. Um. How about the mountain of ice on the roller coaster of the dam? She was behind that? Especially that. Really? The sponge is still small. Most unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Sit tight, buddy. Once I save Elaine, you're next. Don't worry about me. Hey, you! Hello, Treepwood. You sent me on a wild albatross chase for La Esponja Grande and promised me it would cure the pox. But after fending off sexually ambiguous merpeople, a giant manatee, <laughs> and your crazy ex-boyfriend, what do I get for my trouble? This sorry excuse for a kitchen sponge. La Esponja. Ah, I noticed you strategically left out the Grande from this worthless piece of junk. Once it cured my piddly leftover pox, it didn't have enough mojo left to cure Elaine. It's not worthless. It is merely young. It must be brought to maturity in order to reach its voodoo absorbing potential. What to maturity? English, please. How am I supposed to do that? Give it a talk about the sponge birds and sponge bees? Like all infants, La Esponja needs nourishment. It must be fed six special voodoo courses to bring it to adult size. What sort of meal is that? A feast for the senses. The menu, Treepwood. Take it, and serve the sponge a meal unlike any other. And then, it will grow. Oh boy. There's a map of the Flotsam Jungle on the cover. No more listening to bees and birds and boars for this mighty pirate. Hmm. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Voodoo feast in six courses, guaranteed and bigger. Uh... Oh, okay. Put on a napkin that's a sight. A garish cloth grotesquely bright. Into pasta jungle meat gives off a smell like sinky feet. 
Pour the main course, cleanse your palate with taste that hits you like a mallet. Main course will cause quite a flap. To find the sixth sense, use your map. Now engorged, a small dessert, a touch of shocking, it might hurt. Six course, your meal finished, let out a cheer, a belt so loud all can hear. Once completed in order, your, be your beastie will grow to maturity. Substitutions encouraged. Well, that's odd. Oh, right, and then I can... It's like a whole new map now. Hmm. This map, um, I don't remember what the trick to this map was. Well, first of all, I don't think this, yeah, I'm pretty sure this map actually doesn't make any sense. Which is why I have to fold in the corners and then the flaps. And then, it makes a little more sense. Oh boy, I'm probably going to need some hey, you, help again. on that one. Hello, Treepwood. You've been lying to me about LeChuck all these years. My ways are my own, Guybrush. But rest assured, I have never lied to you. You're lying right now. All this time, I thought LeChuck was an inhuman monster. Actually, he was an inhuman monster, but only because you made him that way. Did I? Or was I merely playing my role in a much larger play? Stop trying to confuse me. We're tired of being puppets in your chess game. This is no game, Treepwood. You corrupted LeChuck and sent him out to torment me in a lane for years. I'll never trust you again. I don't require your trust, Treepwood. Only your heroism. Okay. Um. About this feast for the senses. What would you like to know? The first course in the feast for the senses. The napkin. What's up with that? The table must be set with an eye-catching napkin to entice the sponge's hunger. Okay. The antipasta? Explain. With the table set, a powerful aroma must encourage the appetite to grow. I think my nose has been in shock since traversing the inside of a manatee. I'm sure you will find something. Can you give me any more insight about the antipasta? I can't say what exactly would be appropriate for the Feast of the Senses. Fetid sweetmeats, perhaps. Dry, aged, deep within the jungle. Something of that nature. Oh, appetizing. Can you tell me about the palate cleanser? Before the main course, the palate must be scalded clean by a powerful taste. Ooh, like grog? No, not at all like grog. Mm-mm. <laughs> Palate cleanser. Hmm. Something of such grand flavor as to send the senses back to square one. Big flavor. Got it. Uh -huh. It says here that course four, the main course, is the sixth sense. That doesn't even make sense. Ah, but it does. For where the other five senses are limited to the finite experiences of the present, the sixth sense satiates the appetite for the infinite possibilities of the future. The future? How do I feed something the future? You already hold the answer to that question. Well, what about the dessert? This is one hungry sponge. Ah. What is your favorite thing about dessert, Guybrush? Running out before the check arrives? No, it is the pleasurable shock of something different. Ah. Mm-hmm. So the sponge needs a big shock for dessert. Yes. <laughs> okay. It says the feast for the senses ends with a bellowing belch. Do not worry about this. If you provide La Esponja the first five courses, the location of the final course will undoubtedly reveal itself. Ah, my favorite type of responsibility. The one that takes care of itself. Fascinating. Alright, enough about the feast for now. Let's see. Um. So, 
when I was with Dakava, you might have felt something strange happen. Ah, you are no doubt alluding to your brief possession of my physical form. Ha! How did it feel to be the Manipulate Ted instead of the Manipulate Tor for once? It was curiously liberating. You're weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, I met Dakava. Nice Coronado Dakava. My beloved. How was he? Mad. Bipolar. Life ruined. Just another pawn sacrificed in your theater of the damned. I never meant to cause him harm. Sure you did. Okay. Uh, admit it. You were manipulating him. Come on, admit it. You were manipulating Coronado. Coronado was never touched by my voodoo. Even though he sometimes begged to be. Uh, I'm not sure we're talking about the same thing anymore, so I'll just shut up. <laughs> uh, have you seen Elaine? Have you seen Elaine? Of course, even if you have, I won't believe you. So whether I have or have not does not matter. Well, if you do, tell LeChuck and then have him tell me. Okay. I bet the Marquis thinks you have the hot for him now. Tell me, did you ever consider where my consciousness traveled when you replaced it with yours? No. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Did I ask her all the questions about the feast? What would you like to know? Let's see. The napkin, the antipasta, drawing a blank about the powerful taste, the sixth sense. Alright, I think I got everything right, I need here. The feast for now. Yeah, try not to get executed before I cure Elaine. As you wish. Alright, lastly, do I have this journal? I have the map. Let me look at this map again. Oh, this map is gonna be tricky. A napkin. Jungle meat. Palette cleanser. Main course will cause quite a flap to find the sixth sense user map. Small dessert. Uh, six course meal is finished. Okay. So. Gonna have to figure out what this map is at some point. But that is going to be a task for another video. So thank you everybody for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And don't forget to subscribe and follow twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And I'll see you guys for another video next week. So take care. Bye bye.